Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary. A biblical and secular historical literature. So sit back and enjoy. We would like to thank all the viewers for subscribing, liking, and sharing. Witchcraft and Science Astarte and the Cosmic Egg The Big Bang The Big Bang Theory, which states that the universe originally expanded from high or infinite density, is widely accepted by physicists. The Initial Singularity The initial singularity is a singularity predicted by some models of the Big Bang Theory to have existed before the Big Bang and thought to have contained all the energy and space-time of the universe. The instant immediately following the initial singularity is part of the Planck Epoch, the earliest period of time in the history of our universe. The mythological cosmic egg of Astarte, also known as the mystic egg of Astarte. Mother goddesses. The mother goddesses of myth include not only earth deities, but also numerous instances of the fertility goddess, who is known both as the great mother and the great goddess. In the Middle East, the several names of this figure include the those of Anana, the Sumerian queen of the heavens, and goddess of fecundity, Ishtar, the Babylonian goddess of fertility, and the morning star, Astarte, the Syrian fertility and moon goddess, and Asherah, the Canaanite fertility and love goddess, who is the mother of the gods. Isis, yet another deity who is related to these figures, is the Egyptian goddess of heaven, earth, and the underworld. In Antinolian tradition, the mother of the gods is Sibyl, the great goddess who oversees the world's fertility from her throne on the peak of Mount Ida. And in myths from India, the figure of the mother goddess is represented by several deities. Among the Dravidinians to Lagu people, the primordial goddess and Navaru exists before the creation of the world. And it is she who lays the cosmic egg from which the creator God emerges. 
the cosmic egg from which the creator God emerges. The cosmic egg in world mythology, the birth of the divine creator. The cosmic egg is one of the most prominent icons in world mythology. It can be found in Egyptian, Babylonian, Polynesian, and many other creation stories. In almost all cases, this embryonic motif emerges out of darkness, floating upon the waters of chaos. Within this egg typically resides a divine being who literally creates himself from nothing, aka the ex nihilo. This creator then goes on to form the material universe. The cosmic egg in the creator god mythology. Your gnomes egg, Pelagian myth, ancient Greek. Diving ducks egg, Finnish mythology. Almaz egg, Persian mythology. Rods World A Slavic Mythology Pangu's Egg Chinese Mythology The Egg of Ra Egyptian Mythology Pa'a of Ta'aroa Polynesian Mythology the Orphic Egg, in Greek Orphism. The Golden Egg, Hindu Mythology. The Anduno Tao, Dogon Mythology. The Egg of Chaos, Japanese Mythology. The Earth Sky Egg, Bantu Mythology. The World Egg, the World Egg, Cosmic Egg, or Mundane Egg, is a mythological motif found in the cosmogonies of many cultures, typically the world egg is a beginning of some sort. In the universe or some primordial being comes into existence by hatching from the egg, sometimes laying on the primordial waters of the earth. Eggs symbolize the unification of two complementary principles represented by the egg white and the yolk from which life or existence in its most fundamental philosophical sense emerges. In modern cosmology the concept was figuratively readopted by modern science in the 1930s and explored by theoreticians during the following two decades. Current cosmological models maintain that 13.8 billion years ago, the entire mass of the universe was compressed into a gravitational singularity a so-called 
cosmic egg from which it hatched, expanding to its current state following the Big Bang. O oh, Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, the truth contained in the Bible, avoiding profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science falsely so called. First Timothy chapter 6 verse 20. The Chaldean priest, astronomers, the Big Bang, the singularity, the cosmic egg. When religion and science was one. The creation. The creation. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Verse 2. And the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. The book of John, chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Verse 2. The same was in the beginning with God. Verse 3 All things were made by him. And without him, there was not anything made that was made. Verse 4, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. Verse 5, and the light shineth. In darkness, in the darkness comprehended it not. And the judgment is based on this fact God's light 
came into the world. But people love the darkness more than the light. For their actions were evil. John chapter 3 verse 19 NLT. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 20 to the law and to the testimony if they speak not according to this word it is because there is no light in them Isaiah chapter 8 verse 20 blue letter Bible to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. The word shahar is the Hebrew word for light. Shahar, dawn. Literal, figurative, or adverbial. Day, spring, early, light, morning, whence ariseth, dawn, light, day, morning. Shahar, dawn, morning. Psalms, chapter 139, verse 9. Ban Shahar, son of the morning. The morning star. The morning star. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. The book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 16. The Puerto Rican Baroque painting, El Señor de Esculapas, 1690-1710, by an anonymous artist, now in the local state, Museo de Arte, it is a depiction of the well-known Baroque statue from the Basilica of Esculapas, which is famous for depicting Jesus as black. There are many revered copies of this statue in Latin America. Eastern European icon of God the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Eastern European Christians painted icons representing images that they thought symbolized biblical history, people, and events. These pre-Renaissance European works of art depicted the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son with dark brown or brown complexions. This icon actually portrays the Heavenly Father with white woolly hair. As described in the book of Daniel, I beheld to the thrones were cast 
down. And the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wills as burning fire. The Book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 9. Did Michelangelo secretly paint himself onto the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, portraying himself as God? Astonishing clue leads to new theory. The theory has gained traction among scholars. After the unearthing of a clue, the theory centers around one of the most iconic paintings in the world. The Sistine Chapel is a chapel in the Apostolic Palace, the Pope's official residence in Vatican City. Originally known as the Capella Magna, Great Chapel, the chapel takes its name from Pope Sixtus IV, who had it built between 1473 and 1481. Since that time, the chapel has served as a place of both religious and functionary papal activity. Today, it is the site of the papal conclave, the process by which a new pope is selected. The fame of the Sistine Chapel lies mainly in the frescoes that decorate the interior, most particularly the Sistine Chapel ceiling and the Last Judgment, both by Michelangelo. The Creation of Adam is a fresco painting by Italian artist Michelangelo, which forms part of the Sistine Chapel's ceiling. Painted circa 1508 to 1512, it illustrates the biblical creation narrative from the book of Genesis, in which God gives life to Adam. The first man. It is thought that the Renaissance painter may have brazenly added a self portrait to the fresco, portraying himself as the depiction of God. Michelangelo saw himself as the Messiah of art. So it makes sense. Adriano Maranazzo, the creator of special projects at Muscarella Museum of Art at the College of William and Mary, told the Wall Street Journal. Maranazzo told the Wall Street Journal, he's hidden himself in the ceiling. The face is idolized because Michelangelo was self-conscious about his smashed nose. But this is the closest he's ever come to presenting himself as divine. Michelangelo painted his own face as the face of God. Michelangelo painted his own face as the face of God. Who 
hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name? If thou canst tell. The book of Proverbs, chapter 30, verse 4. The Hebrew alphabet, known variously by scholars as the Katav Ashari or Assyrian writing, Jewish script, square script, and block script is an Abjad script used in the writing of the Hebrew language and other Jewish languages, most notably Yiddish and Ladino. The first slaves in the Americas were not African, and the first Africans in the Americas were not slaves. Black sailors, soldiers, servants, and settlers arrived in the Americas in the 15th century, along with the earliest Europeans. These first black colonists were from Spain rather than Africa and were known as Ladinos. In the first transatlantic slaves spoke a Creole language that contained Hebrew words as well as African words, known as Ladino. The Hebrew alphabet is an Abjad script used in the writing of the Hebrew language and other Jewish languages, most notably Yiddish, Ladino, Judeo-Arabic, and Judeo-Persian, which the Hebrew alphabet derives from the Phoenician alphabet. The Paleo Hebrew alphabet on the top. On the bottom is the Assyrian Hebrew script. The Hebrew alphabet has no vowel letters. The letters only mark consonants, which means that when you look at a word, you would have no idea how it is pronounced. Such alphabets are known as abjads. The vowels will be explained immediately after this section. An abjad is a writing system in which only consonants are represented. Other terms for the same concept include consonant writing and consonantal alphabet etymology. The name abjad is derived from pronouncing the first letters of the Arabic alphabet order in its original order, similar to other Semitic languages such as Phoenician, Hebrew, and Semitic proto-alphabets, specifically Aleph, Bet, Gemal, Dalet, or Ah, Ba, 
ga da Dr. William Smith's Dictionary of the Bible Jesus the Greek form of the name Joshua or Jeshua a contraction of Jehosha Abjad Paleo Hebrew Yahweh Shai that is help of Jehovah or Abjad help of Yahweh or Savior. Numbers 13 and 16. Abjad. Yahweh Shai. Hebrew. Yahweh Shai. Greek. Jesus. The Black Christ or Yahweh Shai of SQ Polas of Guatemala. The origins of the Abjad writing system. The first Abjad to gain widespread usage was the Phoenician Abjad. The Phoenician script consisted of only a few dozen symbols. This made the script easy to learn, and seafaring Phoenician merchants took the script throughout the then known world. Phoenician gave rise to a number of new writing systems, including the widely used Aramaic abjad in the Greek alphabet. The Greek alphabet evolved into the modern Western alphabets, such as Latin and Cyrillic, while Aramaic became the ancestor of many modern abjads in Abu Gaidas of Asia. A specimen of proto-synatic script containing a phrase which may mean to balat, balat. Balat Gebal, Balat Gebal, Phoenician, Lady of Byblos, was the tutelary goddess of the city of Byblos. She was identified with Hathor of the Egyptians and later possibly with Isis by ancient Egyptians and with Aphrodite by ancient Greeks. She was venerated by the kings of Biblos, Balat, Hathor, Aphrodite, Isis. In the past, researchers have often attempted to prove that Balat Gabal should be understood as an epithet rather than a proper name. She has been variously identified as a local form of Asherah argued to be an approximate tutelary goddess for a port city due to being addressed as Lady of the Sea and Ugarit. Her name was also a gnat and especially commonly called Astarte, Balat, Hathor, Aphrodite, Isis, Astarte. Astarte was worshipped from the Bronze Age through classical antiquity, and her name is particularly associated with her worship in the ancient Levant among the Canaanites and Phoenicians. Many authors in the past asserted that she has been known as the deified morning and or evening star, Venus. Astarte was the morning star of the nations that was not Israelites. The morning or evening star, the planet Venus. 
the morning star of the Canaanites, Egyptians, Babylonians, Assyrians, Greeks, Romans, and non-Israelite nations, the planet Venus, Astarte, The biblical Canaanites, known to the anthropologists as Gasuleans, practicing and observing a religious ritual. Gasulean. Gasulean refers to a culture in an archaeological stage dating to the Middle and Late Cacolithic or Copper Age period. In the southern Levant, 4400 to 3500 BC. It is located in the eastern Jordan Valley, near the northern edge of the Dead Sea, in the modern country of Jordan. It was excavated in 1929 to 1938, and in 1959 to 1960 by the Jesuits. Basu and Nessie dug at the site in 1967, and in 1975 to 1977 and Stephen Bork in 1994 to 1999. A Gasulean subculture lived in underground dwellings or in trapezoidal houses of mud brick. Those were often built partially underground on top of collapsed underground dwellings. They were covered with remarkable polychrome wall paintings one of the most notable example being the Gasulean Star. The Gasulean Star, located at Tariyalat El Gasul, on the map of the modern country Jordan. The eight pointed Gasulean Star. The Gasulaeans, or Cadmonites, Canaanites. The Cadmonites were, according to the Bible, a Canaanite tribe mentioned as inhabiting the land promised by God in a covenant to Abraham in Genesis chapter 15, verse 19. Jewish tradition regards the term as being identical to Benai Kadema, or children of the East. The Gasulean Star, a mysterious mural from Jordan, a proto star of Astarte, Ishtar, star of an Anna, or star of Venus. The star of Ishtar, or star of an Anna, is a symbol of the ancient Sumerian goddess in Anna, and her East Semitic counterpart, Ishtar. Alongside the lion, it was one of Ishtar's primary symbols. Because Ishtar was associated with the planet Venus, the star is also known as the Star of Venus. The Gasulean Star, or the Star of Astarte, and the religious rituals of the Canaanites. Origin of Easter, Astarte, Yoster. Happy Easter, well, happy Yoster, Ishtar, Astarte. Easter is derived from Yoster, a Teutonic goddess or German goddess of spring and fertility. She was the great mother goddess of the Saxon people in Northern Europe. Similarly, the Teutonic Dawn goddess of fertility was known variously as Oster, Ostara, Ostern, Ostera, Osteri, Ester, Estera, Ester, Ostron, and Osus. Her name was derived from the ancient word for spring, 
Easter. Similar goddess is known by other names in ancient cultures celebrated in the springtime. Some were Aphrodite and Cyprus, Lady of Cyprus, Astarte from ancient Greece, Astoreth from ancient Israel, Demeter from Mycenae, Hathor from ancient Egypt, Ishtar from Assyria, Kali from India, and Ostara, a Norse goddess of fertility. The Easter egg is not actually a egg, but the cosmic egg of pagan mythology. 